by name, dodgy by nature. I was in Parliament where people like Scott Ritter, who was actually the young, last UN weapons inspector in Iraq, was quite a Republican, not a piece at all, but he came and spoke to MPs more than once and explained that he had been the last weapons inspector in Iraq, and when he left, there were no more weapons of mass destruction, apart from some chemical weapons that would have degraded. And he said to those MPs that came to the meetings, you must ask your political leaders, what is the proof that there are nine weapons of mass destruction today? So don't believe people who say they didn't know, or they didn't see the evidence, or they didn't understand. They knew but they made that decision to put other people's men and women and children in harm's way because of reasons of real politics. Because of reasons of American moves, we have to be right behind them. I don't think there's been as disastrous a decision in recent British politics. But earlier this year, I was working on development issues for the Labour Party. And I visited a number of refugee camps. And one of the first refugee camps I visited, alongside the leader of the party, Jeremy Corbyn, was a refugee camp in Calais. Now, if some of you have been there, but many of you will not, and the conditions in Calais are truly appalling. The mud, the suffering, the infection, the lack of proper sanitary conditions, people living in tents, in sub-zero conditions at night. But more than that, people who have travelled thousands of miles, living in squalor, and with no hope. But you know, when I spoke to those refugees, and when I asked where they came from, they largely came from three places. Syria, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Three places where the West has intervened with fateful consequences. Right. And the point about these wars is that wars have consequences, consequences of devastation, suffering, and dislocation. And in a globalized world, nobody in the West can escape those consequences. I think it's sad that the Stop the War campaign has had to go on for 15 long years. It has some years ahead of it. But I hope and believe that when we finally put an end to these wars, wars of choice by and large, when we put an end to these wars, we will make this world a safer place, not just for our children and our families, but for children and families internationally. I salute all the people who've worked so hard to keep the Stop the War campaign going, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your conference.